All right, this is what I'll be doing in this video for the first part. Looking the shores of mostly West Virginia for ancient Native American artifacts. And then at the end, I, I'm in a town dump for a little bit, digging for bottles and vintage marbles and stuff like that. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. <laughs> There's pockets that have washed up in the bank, and that's what I'm sifting out today. There's nice rock pockets in here, and I'm gonna try to find an artifact. I'm gonna try to find one decent thing and leave, and go to the dump. So, hopefully I can get something here in a few hours. Well, I'm in some pretty good layers. I'm finding flint, and I just got a point. Straight down here, there's lots of little flakes. There's more. It's a, got a tip neck, it's a Madison. It's right there, a little fantail bees on it, like, would have been real nice, but tip doing impact. It's still pretty cool, fun stuff like that. I'm on the board already. But all this, I moved that big log clear out of here. You know, this stuff's laying in here and it all decays. And that's what that black stuff is, it stains up the points. It's this stuff right here floating, it gets buried and starts decaying. And eventually that'll make deposits in here and in millions of years it'll be coal. That's how coals form, dead plant material like this and, you know, dead fish here. This will be coal seams. But I'm in a nice layer. I just found that triangle. Hopefully we can get a, a nice point in here and we'll go and go to the dump, dig some marbles. Later. Every now and then there's something on my shovel. It's nothing spectacular, but it's a little knife. It's, look at the edge. The yeast down that edge is made right off a little river cobble and it's just a little knife. It's really heavily patinated. Look at that color. That's a cool little thing, a crude little knife. You can see, heck, you could fillet a fish with that or cut some cordage. It's hard to tell what they were doing. These screens look good. I just got a broken one. Man, this stinks. It looks old. And this brush creek shirt. Look at the orange spots on it there. It's Brush Creek for sure. I know that looks kind of like an agate basin, but it's not. It's not a lancelet. It's impacted from the tip. Some real long, narrow point. It looks like it would have been nice. Man. Man. Well, I'm out surface hunting a little bit. I was going to go back and sift on that place. I've been finding arrowheads every trip, but there's thunderstorm warnings. And there's a decent wash here, and I've sifted right in this area and found some flakes, and I see something laying out. You can see all the fired rock. I'll go up to where it's at and see if you can see it. It looks damaged. See it here? It looks like a little pentagonal that's impacted. See it? It's popped off there. Would have been nice, too bad. I'm just kind of looking around today. I don't have high hopes for this place, but I could find something nice, you never know. Yeah, you know, I never find much on this place. I mean, I've sifted here for two years, but when the water's this low, this is usually underwater, and I mean, I've, I'm seeing something from here that looks just like a scorcher. can't really, it's right in there so let me go up here. I think it looks like a really fine Madison point, but I might be wrong. Oh man, this looks good. It looks like it has a fossil in the tip and it's serrated. You see this? Man, it was worth coming out. I don't find many points laying out. I'm a digger. You know, I surface hunt and stuff, but most of the places I'm looking, um, I've sifted, so the surface hunt isn't nearly as good. Right here, look at this smoker. Wow. That is a beauty. It's got fossils all in it. Right there's a shell. I'll show, oh, that makes it 10 times as good. It's made out of a little fossil river pebble chert. Oh, that's nice. It's a true bow and arrow projectile. I'll show it in a book, give you like, 
some archaeological background information on it dates man that's what it's a weak maker for one of these these are hard to find because they're so thin and when they were shot this is a bow and arrow point you can see they break easily about i don't know more than half of them are broke about right there i find impacted yep worth the trip this is a i don't find many of these on this site this is an old site but you can see even a place where i'm finding artifacts that are seven eight nine thousand years older than this i still find stuff that's thousand years old that much activity along the river look at this ground all right well, here's a closer look at this little mattice and you can see right here at the top towards the tip that little white inclusion that's a fossil shell flip it over to the other side look there at the shell at the tip of my finger there nice fossil chert real finely made paper thin you picture that on a little arrow shot from a little bow and right here's what it is you can see madison mississippian cultural period in about the most recent it could be in my area is 400 years before present and i'd guess that's about a thousand years old this one i found today but you can see it's right on that's exactly what it is there's some more up there some bigger ones you can read that right there pause this and read that and the book i'm using you can look at them serrations on that is the overstreet guide to indian arrowheads and i can always whoever put this together the later editions they really took a lot of different opinions and went with a general consensus and it's all over the united states and i can match up anything i find in the book pretty much it's that good and all the stuff is legitimate these are all real points just like the one i just found you can get that on amazon this book later fix all right i just walked down over the hill i kind of got somewhat of a path here not much a little bit once i get through all that it's pretty thick but i'm gonna go look for vintage marbles i've been finding them every trip for months it's a good bit of digging to find them, but it's at least shady in here. And into here, I'm going to dig right down there. But see, I can go all up in here too and all down through here. There's marbles all around me here. There was a bunch of them thrown away and they're scattered all the way down this hill. And it's not one throw away. They were just that popular of a toy during like the 40s to the 60s. Every dime store had them. Every kid had them. This... This looks pretty good. I'm gonna go down here. This is up too high, I was gonna say. I was like, where was I digging there? Down here's where I was at. This is more, more like it, huh? I'm gonna go over in this way. I was finding some nice ones. See how nice and shady it is? All right. It's 10 degrees cooler right here. It's still probably 85. <laughs> you know, I, I just started raking. I see a coin. It's I haven't found one page 1968 here. We'll see what this is in the next clip. I'll take it home and clean it up. It's probably a wheat scent, but it could be a memorial. It's kind of cut off. All right, here's this first penny. I find several. 1952. And it looks like D, maybe. And, of course, that's a wheat penny. And I show these because it dates the age of trash I'm in. Kind of shows you what I'm digging in and the age of the marbles. You know, this a little, this or a little later. Later. When you're digging on the hills like I am with the dumps, throw over the hill dumps. Look at what the matic does when you get it undercut. You can just make a shelf here. You try digging through that clay cap with a regular shovel. That's why I tore up the tips of so many of them. I was busting through reach with them i'm brewing so many shovels on these dumps it was ridiculous you won't ruin the matic you get a good one like this one i have it'll last you pretty much your whole life i'll probably tear this up but it, it ought to last years i'll get back 
Let's see what that does for you real quick. I got this opened up now. And I can sit down here and see all of this stuff. And I got enough of a lip here out here that if I have a cave in, I'm still good. I can sit down and relax here. See if any vintage marbles pop out of here. Look at that layer right there. They gotta go up this hill. There's gotta be nice swirls in here and marble kings and vitres. And I think some of these swirls are heat and agate company. We'll see what comes out of here. Later. That's a shame. Look at that little army jeep. The guy sitting in it, the heads break off. That's a shame. It's a good sign there. So. Here's something round and metal. This is how I saw it. Look at that. Huh. I don't know what that is. It's got something on it on that side. I don't know what that is. Let's see. You know, that's what that was. It's got a loop there. There's a hole. Might be a keychain. It's kind of cool. Lay it up. I got another coin here and I, it might be a penny, but it just, yeah, I think it is. It just didn't feel like it right at first. Yeah, it's a penny of some kind. Now you can kind of get an idea of the first penny I found in this video is 1952. This one's 1953. And of course a wheat sent back. Um, gives you an age of what I'm in there. Later. Um, I'm just now, I've been here a while, I'm about ready to go, I'm getting really tired. I kayaked around this morning and stuff, but this layer right in there, I'm gonna have to go another half hour. I just get that penny and I see a marble and it's looking awesome. Look at this. This looks like something, a really nice swirl. Oh boy, this looks, oh boy, that's awesome. That's really nice, hold on. You know, it's like purple with kind of a lavender off-white base. It's just nice, smaller than average size. That's a smoker. That's worth the trip. I'm gonna go a little bit longer right in that corner. This is that marble from the last clip. It's pretty nice. It has like flecks of color in that. Really nice. Nice swirl for the frame. Later. It took me this long, but I'm back on them. I messed around over there in that layer I was in where I found these nice marbles in my last video. Just went to nothing. It met an area that I had already dug. And this ain't dug down in there. And the marbles are coming, you see it? Right there, it's smaller than average. And I think it's just a, a solid one. Yeah, it, it looks pretty nice. Man, it's a nice color, look at that. It's just a cleary there, just a common marble for sure, but pretty cool. Look at that. I got another one here, but it's break. It's just a blue cat eye. Later, but you see half of it's gone. Later. Well, I just vomited. I drank a bunch of Gatorade and it didn't stay down. I, I'm not sick or nothing. It's just that hot. I've sick all the way through this black shirt and I gotta wear a shirt in the dump. I can't get shirtless because you can't let your skin touch the dirt because there's toxins all in it. It'll make you sick. So I'm just gonna go. I can't take no more. All right, I just got back from a market. I went and got squirrel me and a bunch of fruit and stuff. I get him strawberries. Here's some blueberries. And thank you, just just Julie, a subscriber, did a super thanks donation. And I used it to get this stuff. We'll go up and see him now. Thanks to everybody that gave with that. It makes this possible. It allows way more hunts. And there'll be giveaways for people that do that. Plus giveaways for regular just subscribers too. Um, I'll talk more about that in the next video and we'll get a giveaway going for people for the super thanks and we'll do another giveaway too. I'll get back at you up at Squirrel Man. Well, I'm up here 
he's in the doghouse. He's been he, he's been kicking that all out, and he's under his blanket here. Hey, we're Squirrel Man. I got you some treats. Where you at? I think I see some movement. Oh my goodness. Who's this? Get up here. Look at him. The playboy. Look here. Here. You want that? Here. He's getting him. He's got nuts here too. Pecans. He's having him at. And he's going to eat his stuff. Thanks. Thanks, Julie. Squirrel Man got other stuff too. I couldn't show it all. He got walnuts and pecans and... Thank you. He's a good boy. He's driving me crazy though. He wake me up at 4 o'clock. 4 a.m. Wanting to play. Oh my goodness. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. Nice Madison for laying out. Man, that's a good one. Later, folks.